It's not as easy as saying open second. This is a shit post, man. Let's get the loot out of here. One sec. You keep saying that. We gotta go.
How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay, the cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them. That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me. But didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho Klaus. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger. Uh, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. Carnage Hall, Carnage. What were you even thinking? I've never seen someone botch a job so badly in my life. I thought I could trust them. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. M maybe, maybe there's a way to fix this. 
you can fix it by figuring out how you're gonna pay me back and quick. Hey, then, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God? But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one for balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. Are you fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? Yeah. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Half-Ast has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Now, thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start, but I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? Oh, you're something else. But you still have a lot to learn, kid. You lied to me about Hubie. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you are still alive, neither do you, right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden.
I am thankful for customers like you. The Carnage Hall tournament is getting closer and closer. Aiden, hey! <sighs> Water Tower, Dad. Lush, have you been? Great, actually. Who knew that once you got out from between your boyfriend and your father, you suddenly have room to become you? <laughs> so, you don't regret leaving Scott? Not a bit. Although, I do wonder about that necklace. Did it exist? Eh, it hardly matters now, does it?
Roger's men are high on some weird kind of drug. <sighs> Alamed all over again. giving up the water to the PKs. Because it belongs to us. I feared things would go differently, but now it looks like it'll be a great year to grow radishes. Finally, you can plant something other than cacti. It wasn't that bad. Do you see? See what? It's unbelievable. We have survived countless tragedies. I've been told they make a new type of candle out of sheep's fat here. No this one can be a fool. Don't even try. Hello, Lightning. Yo, what's up? So you've heard about me? Sure, who hasn't? Yeah, I'm a fucking legend. What are they saying? Any hot chicks asking about me? Oh man, plenty. All dreaming to meet the legend. Ah, <laughs> that's my life. What can I say? Providing the fastest water delivery on the rooftops gives you celebrity status. I have also the most diverse selection. Still water, sparkling water, lavender flavor, honey flavor, even urtica flavor. Wait, wait what? Urtica flavor? Who knows? But it sounds intriguing, right? It's called marketing. People drink it up. Doesn't matter what it is, but if it sounds fresh and different, they want it. So, did you come here to challenge me? To get your ass kicked by fabulous Sadio? Well, I know I have no chance, but to be defeated by you would be an honor. Darn right it would, men. So, when you're ready, take these bottles for a brisk run. Just try not to break your legs.
going on here? PKs. They've been searching us for weapons. Found our Molotovs and went ape shit, slaughtering everyone in sight. Looks like someone set us up. Who? And where are the bombs for Alberto? We managed to send some out. The couriers last reported near Star Square. Then silence. Alberto, the charges are gone. I'm going to the Star Square. That was their last check-in. Oh. Oh, my. Exactly. Ada. Yeah. Be careful. Someone sold us out. Find the, the, the charges. Without them, the plan cannot proceed. Doing what I can. I'll be in touch. But bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night, someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest, too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flower, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. Oh, she must be desperate to blame her best friend. Ex-best friend. But it's just an accusation. It's not like she's got any evidence. She's a bit hot-headed, that's for sure. But you'd have to ask her yourself. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? Well, that's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? If you'll be near a shop. Well, thanks for the tip. For, for the water. I hear you were robbed. But my best friend, no less. I'm devastated, really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to. But who else could it be? She was storing it for me to keep it safe, she said. And now it's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest, too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now... Now we'll starve. How did Anna explain the disappearance of the flower? Theft, not a disappearance. And she didn't explain anything. She's lying through her teeth. How do you know? See it in her eyes. It's a lie. I look back and realize Anna's been a liar all along. Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but it was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. A friend in need is a friend indeed.
Anna? Anna, I just want to talk. Go away! Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look, I know Teresa sent you. Fuck her and fuck you. Please, just go away. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Since the fall, we've been close. I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed, suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband, who drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and nothing, all gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby, or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa, or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Help it. Let's end this madness, please. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. 
The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. And footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. keys to the shed me and my husband nobody else you're sure there's no sign of forced entry Anna whoever took the flower had the keys or made copies so you do think it was me calm down and think who else would do this and why help me help you unless Teresa's right after all hard to tell Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me, but lately he's been quiet, like he's got something to hide, and maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps. So be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters in the bazaar. Come to think of it, he took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Just money. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. And not much more or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least you believe me. Thank you for that.